Hello, everybody. Last time we talked a little bit about the covariance matrix. Today we'll try to get a deeper understanding of this matrix by understanding the geometric interpretation. Recall that the covariance matrix is an n by n matrix of pairwise feature covariances, assuming you have n features in your data. Along the diagonal, it has individual feature variances. And in off-diagonal entries, it has pairs of covariances. If we eigen decompose this matrix, which is usually denoted as sigma, we can decompose it into a product of a matrix of eigenvectors, eigenvalues along the diagonal, and the inverse of the eigenvectors. Note that the eigenvector matrix U is actually a rotation matrix because it's orthonormal and can be normalized to have determinant 1, whereas the matrix of eigenvalues is a diagonal matrix. If we rewrite sigma so that we have this matrix L, which is the square root of the diagonal matrix, then we get sigma equals U times L times L times U inverse. Applying the matrix C, which is equal to just U times L, to n normal random variables results in a rotated and scaled data matrix x tilde whose covariance matrix is actually sigma. To prove this, we need three facts. For mean-centered data, recall that the covariance matrix is simply x times x transpose. The Fact two says that for n independent normal random variables, we have variance one for those variables and covariance zero between any two variables. So their covariance matrix is actually the n by n identity matrix, I sub n. And fact three is that for an orthonormal matrix, its inverse is actually equal to its transpose. Given this, if we apply the matrix U times L to our data, we get the new matrix X tilde. To compute the covariance matrix, we have X tilde times X tilde transpose, which is the same as U times L times X multiplied by their transpose, which switches their order. Now you see here that you have X and X transpose right next to each other, which is the covariance matrix of the n independent random variables. So we can substitute that with the n dimensional identity matrix I sub n, and this goes away. Then we have U, L, L transpose, U transpose. But notice that since L is a diagonal matrix, it's equal to its transpose. And further, L times L equals the, this matrix lambda, which contains the eigenvectors. So if we substitute lambda for L times L transpose, we get U, lambda, U transpose. But remember, U transpose is the same as U inverse, so we get U, lambda, U inverse, which, of course, equals sigma again. So this means that the covariance of X tilde, the rotated scaled matrix that we derive from X, is actually sigma. To see this visually, we can take two normally distributed random variables and we can apply this matrix, which is a rotation times a scaling, and we get data with the covariance from the original matrix. So this data imposed, this matrix imposed the covariance structure we started with on normally distributed random variables. The inverse of C can be used to whiten or decorrelate data, so you can go back and forth between correlated and decorrelated data.